Hook up there. We got him now. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush them out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. Go right.
Comanche! The whole damn tribe! Let's get the hell out of here! Andale! Get on the wagon and grab that Gatling gun! They stopped. What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping Rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. No, amigo. I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends! Easy! Sing farther! Tell your brothers we are not enemies! We have your weapons! Your rifles! There will be no deal, Snake Tongue! You tried to trick us! This weapon does not work! One rifle! One of three hundred! None of them work! No! This isn't necessary! Paki Ho! Kill them all! No, father! This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery! That little bastard. Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed Juan. me. Take her, beat her, enjoy her, for she is a lying whore, and that is all she is good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, but they should not expect a warm welcome.
Hounded by the army and pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. They naturally distrusted us whites. My brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed, but seeing farther wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure, but I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo too were ravaged by sickness. Their medicine man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate water. Would you stop your whining? Jesus. Fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old boot. It's like you smell any better. You both smell bad. Your stink almost covered up the smoke. Smoke? Where? Here. Everywhere. We're in Navajo territory. The village has to be close. Hey, you didn't say nothing? What were you waiting for? An arrow in the back? The Navajo have mainly rifles now. What? If the village is close, we will see some lookouts. Watch the shore. Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village we are here. Save some for me. It ain't my fault you're so damn slow. Is that all of them? That's all, I guess. Tell me, Chief. So that medallion's on the bottom of the lake? Yes. Somewhere high in the mountains. Oh, great. So, why are we going to the village? We go where the spirit of the Great Coyote leads us. Spirit of the what? There. Well, son of a bitch. Are you telling me that we are being led by a damn dog? The Great Coyote. The spirit of my great-grandfather who sold the medallion to the Navajo. He wants us to go through the village.
this way. Now keep quiet. Let's go. Nice and quiet. Keep close. Come and look. Only if you are awake. Maybe we can slip through without being seen. Your furry grandpa tell you that? You hear that? It's coming from the mountains. We have to take the path of the dead. Okay, but I don't like the sound of that. It's where the Navajo lay their dead to rest. We'll go through the burial ground, but we must stay silent so as not to awaken any dark spirits. Follow me. Oh, you scared a ghost, brother? I'm more worried about the live ones. It's too damn quiet. Wait here. Watch out. Oh, they spotted us. Hurry! We must get to the path of the dead. Where the hell did they all come from? These some bitches just keep coming. See those rocks, Ray? Maybe you can drop a couple on their heads. Cover me! Now! Go! 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 Woo-ha! Good job. Well, that should hold them for a while. Go up! Now, we have to cross the battle Sorry, they were ever born. Come on! Let's unload some lead on these peckerheads. Hey, it ain't my fault you're so damn slow. Boys got more guts than brains. Take cover. Up and down. Think all that practice is starting to pay off. You know what I've learned? That you are one irritating asshole. I'm surprised my nuts set is still intact after that. Bastards broke the bridge. What now, Chief? Where'd your grandpa go? 
chase down a squirrel? The gray coyote showed us the lake and the dam. He's telling us something. Telling us what? We must discover his meaning. All right. In the meantime, let's find another way. Let us get closer to the dam. We can go by way of the riverbed. Lead the way. The dam, the river. He's telling us something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't speak coyote. <sighs> There's always something. Well, this tree's barely standing. We'll push it over and make ourselves a bridge. Come on, give me a hand. Nice job pitching in there, brother. As usual. What? Well, come on. You let me do all the pushing. Well, hell, you're the one with the muscles. It's too damn quiet. From the front! Expect me to climb this? We'll go around this way. This trail leads to the lake. Is that a campfire? Smoke signals. They are warning the other villages. We must hurry before more come. I think they're already here. Let's go. Navajo drowned the medallion. We must swim down to the bottom and find it. Oh, you're kidding me, right? 
Whose idea is this? Your grandma, the horny toad? I'll tell you right now, there's no way in hell. How are we even gonna find it? Grey Coyote showed us to the lake and the dam. Dam? Dam? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's just blow this some bitch. If that medallion's down there, we'll find it. Hurry! The Navajo are coming! Let's go. This way. Just like the ones at Devlin's camp. So what? It means that the Navajo didn't build this dam. Not alone, anyway. How about you stop your jawing and blow up the damn dam? I'm getting to it. Let's go, brother. Come on. Look! The sacred place of the Navajo. That is where the medallion is. Well, let's get what we came here for. Why aren't they attacking? Well, get ready, brother. This is a sacred place. They will not shed blood here. Well, hell, if they won't, we will. I 
I'll take it. Out of the way. Stop, Thomas. Navajo! Oh, for Christ's sake, let him have the goddamn the hell me the hell out of here. Hurry up, boy! No other way, right? Come on! Still alive and clean as a whistle. They can shoot at me, they can set my damn ass on fire. But I fucking hate water. Well, boy, we owe your great granddaddy a big debt of gratitude. Boy, great grandfather doesn't want your gratitude. You are like two mad wolves. You've insulted the ancestors of the Navajo and have violated their sacred place. For that, he will surely be punished. So this is what's gonna lead us to the treasure? Hand it over. Why do you get it? You two are not worthy. Your brothers will kill each other over this. It is you who should hold it. I will teach the young shaman its secret. Without his help, you will never find the treasure. What about the woman? 
We're not leaving without her. I'll lead the woman out. But you must capture the attention of the braves guarding her. Wait, how do we do that? <laughs> People will always watch a fight. A fight? Why not? You're both here for the woman. A fight will determine who is the strongest, the most deserving of her affection. What the hell did he mean by that? The object everyone's been after, the very thing that caused so much pain and bloodshed, is now in my hands. Seeing farther told me its secret, and now I too carry the burden. It hangs from my neck like a millstone, and Ray gazes at it as lustfully as he does Marissa. Maybe it is better I hold it, otherwise my brothers would kill each other to possess it. I pray to the Almighty for our safe passage from this dangerous place. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for Thou art with me. What did he mean by we're both here for the wound? I asked you a question. Don't push me, Ray. That girl's mine. Yeah? Well, what if she don't want you? She told me she did. Cause she was hoping you'd kill Juarez. She'd say anything to be rid of him. You have a way with women, Thomas. No doubt about it. But not this time. This time, I'm the one who gets the girl. Who you think told me about Juarez's scheme? About them guns? Jesus Christ, open your eyes, Ray. You can't see the forest for the trees. How long has this been going on? Since the beginning. Why are you doing this to me, brother? It ain't about you, Ray. It's about me, and it's about Marissa. What the hell? What's going on? Who the hell's that? Barnsby!
beat these bastards yet! I don't have time to fight about this. They're gonna shoot us like sitting ducks here. They'll pass you too, unless we take out those cannons. I don't have that much TNT, but I got enough to push some rocks down on them. Well, you and me, brother, just like old times. I'm only doing this for them. Let's go. Keep close! You just made the last mistake of your sad, sorry, miserable life. Go, go, go! Hurry!
I'll blow that rock loose. That should do it. Just cover me. Don't worry. Shit! Hey, you heard you decided to take a nap. Ten seconds! Run away! Get your ass out of there! Say adios, amigo! That'll stop him. <laughs> Not for long. What are they waiting for? Chief, my name is Bonsby. Colonel in the Second Corps of the Army of Northern Virginia. I'm here for their medallion, and I will offer you a fair exchange. Hand it over right now, and I will give you back something that you hold dearly. Son of a bitch. He's got your son. I am already dead, father. Do not talk to them. You hand over that medallion or he will die. Right here, right now. Seen father is Apache. He will face death bravely. Look around you. Your village is gone. Your people are dead. Are you willing to sacrifice your last male heir? You ready to let your line, your tribe, your people die out? Let him go! Hausa! Let him go, and Running River will get you the medallion. No, Chief! I want it in my hands! Then I let him go. Understand? Running River understands. Good. I'll be waiting in the ghost settlement. You surely know where that is. You have until sundown tomorrow. Or your son dies. That medallion ain't where you think it is, Chief. What do you know of it? Where else would it be? Who would dare take it? Your son? My faith is my shield. I have repeated these words over and over, for they are all I have left. Job had never lost his faith, even though he lost everything he held dear. How can the Lord allow such evil to go unpunished? So much suffering and pain. I hold tight to my faith, for my faith is my shield. Seen father was with William and Marissa. Uh, if he didn't make it to the waterfall, then maybe they didn't either. You think they're dead? <sighs> that would be my guess. Then I think it's high time Colonel Barnes been met his maker. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, brother. But, just so you know, when this is over, so are we. I don't ever want to see you again. 